Jay Zeger, and we are here at the 2023 Distressed Investing Summit in Palm Beach, hosted by the M&A Advisor. And I'm here today with Cheryl Carner, the Senior Managing Director, Head of Originations at SLR Credit Solutions. And Cheryl, tell us a little bit about what you spoke to the group about today. Sure. We were on a panel this morning talking about two things. One, where the trends in restructuring activity, particularly as it relates to financing, have been. Uh, essentially over the last few years, uh, pre and through COVID. And then we also discussed what our expectations are in the financing market going forward. And in particular, given a lot of the, I'll say, volatility and unprecedented dynamics going on in the banking industry over the last two weeks since uh, the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. So what is more of your focus now What at SLR Credit Solutions? So I focus specifically on originating and structuring secured debt transactions. Most of our transactions are structured based upon a a business's assets. That could be working capital assets. It could be fixed assets, real estate, et cetera. And we typically work in situations where businesses are looking for incremental liquidity, and therefore we're working in partnership with their existing lender, or there could be a situation where they need a more flexible partner and we will do the transaction on our own. So what are some of the highlights that you took away from today? One thing is that there is no question going to be a a change in sentiment we anticipate with lenders. Over the last few years, lenders have been very, very aggressive um, with both leverage and structure and terms. And given the material increase in interest rates, along with inflation, supply chain challenges, et cetera, there, there's a dynamic where that just can't continue. And so there's going to need to be a resetting, if you will, of capital structures, whether that takes place in the context of a Chapter 11 filing or whether it takes place out of court. So are you foreseeing any challenges, or I should say, what challenges are you foreseeing or even trends that are going to impact how or what kind of deals are going to get done in the months ahead? Well, I think that there are certainly going to be situations where companies cannot service or really afford all the debt that they have on their balance sheet. And as a result, it's going to require restructuring that debt, whether that's equitizing some of the debt, whether that's going from current pay to payment in kind or pick interest. So I think you're going to see that. I also think you're going to see lenders in some ways have to get more flexible or tolerant with amendments and waivers because the alternative, if they're not, it could be an insolvency and that outcome can be even less attractive. All right. Thank you so much, Cheryl. We appreciate it.